Have you heard about Type 1 and Type 2 civilizations? Today, we're going to explore the captivating concept of these civilizations and what they mean for the future of humanity. Are we only just beginning to discover what our own civilization is capable of? Let's explore together. What is Kardashev of Scale? Before we dive into the specifics of Type 1 and Type 2 civilizations, let's take a moment to familiarize ourselves with the Kardashev of Scale. Imagine it as a celestial ruler, measuring a civilization's ability to master energy. This scale spans levels 1 to 5, measuring technological advancement and energy utilization. As we ascend this scale, civilizations progress from mastering their home planets to reaching for the stars themselves. The Kardashev scale is a simple yet powerful way to determine the technological advancement of civilization. Let's have a brief overview of the division of the civilizations according to the Kardashev scale. Type 1. First, we have Type 1 that can harness all the energy on their home planet, solar, wind, geothermal, etc., roughly equivalent to Earth's current solar energy intake, and comes on level 1 on the scale, which means minimum energy generation of 1016 watts. At this level, a civilization gains complete control over the energy falling on its planet from the parent star. This allows manipulation of nature, influencing rain patterns and even storms. Type 2. Moving on to Type 2 that can harness all the energy of their host star. About the total output of our sun. Imagine giant structures like Dyson spheres capturing that power and lies on level 2 on the scale. That means energy generation of approximately 1026 watts. Type 3. Let's talk about Type 3 civilization, which can control and utilize energy on a galactic scale, harnessing entire galaxies or manipulating stellar processes, and comes on level 3 on the scale, which means energy generation of 1036 watts. This advanced civilization harnesses energy not only from its parent star, but from all stars in the galaxy. It achieves technological breakthroughs, including interstellar travel, cybernetic organisms, and quantum teleportation. This is truly mind-blowing stuff. So what's the key point? More energy control equal higher tech level in this framework. Type 1 Civilization Now let's get into the details as in this exploration. We are having a closer look at Type 1 and Type 2 Civilizations. Our cosmic exploration begins with the Type 1 civilization, often referred to as a planetary civilization. Envision a society that can harness and control all the diverse energy resources available on its home planet. This includes geothermal, hydro, wind, solar, and even fossil fuel-based energy sources. The energy consumption of a Type 1 civilization aligns with the total energy received from its parent star painting a picture of a united world harmoniously utilizing its resources. The universe is filled with incredible galaxies, each containing billions of stars. Could some of these be the cradles of advanced civilizations? Find out in our next video, the 10 largest galaxies reveal the transition to type one. As of now, Earth is not classified as a type one civilization on the Kardashev scale. In the 21st century, we find ourselves at the threshold of this transition, with ongoing efforts to adopt more sustainable and efficient energy sources. This journey involves addressing geopolitical challenges, environmental concerns, and fostering global unity, essential elements in our evolution toward becoming a Type 1 civilization. Type 2 Civilization Let's set our sights on the Type 2 Civilization, the Stellar Civilization. Envision a society equipped with the capacity to harness and manipulate the energy output of an entire star. This civilization's prowess extends to the construction of monumental structures, such as the Dyson Sphere, a hypothetical megastructure designed to encapsulate a star and harvest its boundless energy, the Dyson Sphere. But wait, before switching the gears, do you know what the Dyson Sphere is? Imagine a giant bubble built around the sun like a super mega solar panel. This bubble, called a Dyson Sphere, would collect all the sun's energy, giving the people inside endless power. It's like giving your phone a battery that lasts forever. It would be huge, the size of Earth's whole orbit, 
but super thin and light, like a giant cobweb. Building it would be super hard, but if we did, imagine what we could do. Power cities on other planets, zoom around space like jets, maybe even grow plants under the bubble if it gets too cold outside. And here the question arises, what is the need for this notion? The answer is simple. It helps to understand the Kardash of scale in a better way. Let's find out how. Talking about level one is like using all the power on Earth. Imagine giant windmills and solar panels everywhere. And level two is way cooler. It's like having a giant bubble around the sun, sucking up all its energy. That's the Dyson Sphere. It's like having the most giant battery ever for your galactic spaceship. Understanding the Dyson Sphere helps us see the huge difference between using Earth's energy and having all the sun's power. It shows how much more advanced level two civilizations must be. Able to build megastructures we can only dream of. Before moving on, it is essential to acknowledge that the Kardashian of scale is a speculative and theoretical framework. Ongoing debates within the scientific community question its practicality and real-world application. Nonetheless, the scale serves as a compelling tool for contemplating the potential development and progress of advanced extraterrestrial civilizations. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Considering the implications of Type 1 and Type 2 civilizations, brings us to the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Could there be advanced societies out there already mastering the energy of their stars? The cosmos becomes a vast canvas where the possibilities are as endless as the galaxies themselves. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence gains new dimensions when we consider the potential diversity of civilizations in the universe. As we wrap up our cosmic exploration, it's evident that Type 1 and Type 2 civilizations push the boundaries of our understanding. From planetary mastery to stellar dominion, these concepts offer a glimpse into the limitless possibilities that await advanced societies in the cosmos. If the cosmic odyssey has sparked your curiosity, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to Mars 666 for more cosmic revelations and ring that notification bell to stay tuned. Share your thoughts in the comments. Do you believe Earth is on the path to becoming a Type 1 civilization? Or do the mysteries of the cosmos still elude us? Until our next cosmic rendezvous, stay fascinated, stay curious. May the wonders of the cosmos continue to ignite our quest for knowledge.